Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist and YouTuber Pat Prokop and today is Wednesday, January 22nd and it's all over except for the shouting. Snow fell last night across a large swath of the southern United States including Georgia and South Carolina. Let's take a look first of all from the heavenly backyard garden. This was the view this morning when I got up and the uh, snow had just ended. Actually it wasn't so much snow here, it was a lot of sleet. Uh, so that's a compaction of uh, ice on the ground there. It's about 3.3 inches uh, thick or deep. Also I had about one tenth of a coating of uh, uh, glazing ice on my bushes and tree limbs. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at another view of the garden on the other side there. There's one of the telescopes undercover. And uh, the snow uh, fell throughout the nighttime hours into the early morning hours. Now, let's take a look at the um, amounts of snow that have been reported across the area. And uh, first of all, there's the view from space, from the geostationary weather satellite that goes east. And it shows a large swath of snow from the uh, eastern portions of Virginia, uh, the eastern third of North Carolina, the eastern half of South Carolina, a large portion of central and southern Georgia, and into the Alabama area. And then looking at a wider view here shows the extent of the snow from the eastern portions of Texas and around the Houston area in the southern portions of the Louisiana, where they had a blizzard condition there yesterday around Lake Charles, and New Orleans had extremely heavy snow there, and ac across southern Mississippi into Alabama and the panhandle of Florida uh, and then to southeastern Georgia, eastern South Carolina, North Carolina into the eastern portion of Virginia, a small portion of Virginia. Uh, but the snow now is all, um, the fall is all moving off to the east. It's all done basically and nothing else going on except for now waiting for the snow to melt and that's going to take uh, several days actually for it to, to melt. Let's take a look at some of the other views. Uh, these are from my some of my Facebook friends and here on my Facebook page here and there's my garden there as we just saw and some of the other views. Well here's one from um, Falkville uh, over there in southern Effingham, southwest Effingham County showing the extent of the snow on the ground there and um, uh, back out of that, back down to, uh, uh, this is interesting, this is uh, from Statesboro, um, Danette Mathis, and <laughs> turkeys in the snow, there you go, but the, yeah, they had the snow out there as well, and uh, let's take a look at another picture here, and uh, I have a few, here's one from uh, Whitmarsh Island at Long Point, and yeah, snow covered and slippery out there as well on Wilmington Island, uh, Whitmarsh Island area, and uh, again, looking at the uh, another view here uh, from um, East 32nd Street in Savannah, a lot of snow and sleet on the ground there as well. And uh, looking at more pictures, got a couple more left I want to show you, share with you. Uh, yeah, this was part of the ice that was uh, accumulated on the uh, tree branches and the shrubbery uh, in and around the uh, region uh, from last night. A lot of the rain was falling as freezing rain uh, early in the evening yesterday between 3 and 10 o'clock here at the Heavenly Backyard Garden. It was 30 degrees and raining and mixed with some sleep, but we had a lot of freezing rain associated with it as well. I estimated about one-tenth of an inch of glazing on my tree branches and the vegetation. Here's a, a interesting view from Brooklet, um, Bullock County there. Uh, looks like a sunrise, uh, just before sunrise picture there and showing the snow on the ground. And uh, one more, I got one more left, one more. Uh, here it is right here, and this is over in the um, Vidalia area and look at the snow in Vidalia. Uh, covers the ground out there in contrast to that rich blue sky uh, during the uh, morning hours and that's where we stand right now. All right, let's take a look at the uh, uh, forecast or an actual measurement of the snow on the ground from the National Weather Service and we just saw that on the satellite imagery extending from the uh, eastern Texas all the way across our area up into the mid-Atlantic coastal states. Well, what about locally uh, over in the uh, uh, reports from the Cocora, uh, uh Community Cooperative uh, Weather, Rain, Hail, Snow Network? And it shows, um, well, in Richmond Hill, uh, there are three to four inches of, of uh, sleet and snow there. 
Uh, there's my report uh, in, of 3.3 inches, and also in Savannah, 2.5 two to 3 inches uh, being reported in some locations there. Uh, Effingham County, uh, uh, again, same thing, about 3 to 4 inches, 4.5 inches. Uh, Evans County, uh, Belleville, 3.3. A lot of the reports, about three to, average about 3 inches, anywhere between 2 and, and 4.5 inches. Sylvania uh, in, in Screven County, there is a report there. Tatno County in Collins, uh, 3 inches. Over in South Carolina, Beaufort, uh, a lot of reports of 3 inches of snow in uh, that area. In, in, in South Carolina, there you have the Beaufort uh, reports, about 3 inches of snow up and around the uh, uh, north of Charleston, again, about the same. And then uh, Charleston County, a lot of reports of uh, one to three inches of basically sleet in those areas there. And over a closer home in Hampton County, a couple of reports of three inches of snow. So yeah, quite a bit of snow did fall across our area. What to expect over the next several days? Well, uh, let's take a look at the computer models. And this is the GFS and showing, well, basically nothing. Uh, just a bunch of clear weather conditions, maybe partly cloudy sky tomorrow, but mostly clear. A little rain system tries to push off to the north of us on Monday of next week, but then really nothing else. But one thing I'm showing, uh, noticing here, you see these red lines here? They're red. That means it's above freezing. And that freezing line way up to the north now, uh, up in the northeast. So that means we're going to be warming up. Well, that's the key. Uh, but when? Uh, that'll be next week. And we got some other rain systems, perhaps. So, but no major snow systems showing up for us, perhaps up in the Great Lakes states uh, a week from this Sunday on Groundhog Day, February 2nd. They might be seeing uh, a storm there. But that's so far in advance right now. That's what, um, uh, 264 hours in advance. All right. One of the things uh, I wanted to look at is the comparison of the models. How well do these models do? And uh, let's bring up this picture over here. And uh, this is a uh, forecast from a week ago. Uh, this was on Tuesday for Wednesday. So uh, it, basically an eight-day forecast. And it showed the GFS was saying nothing going on. Don't worry about anything. The CMC, the Canadian Meteorological Center uh, model, indicating a widespread path of, uh, of a uh, swath of snow, ice, and freezing rain across the southeast. Remember, this is an eight-day forecast here, basically an eight-day, seven-day forecast. And the uh, the German model, the Icon, uh, was showing a large band of freezing rain with snow, uh, a swath of snow across south Georgia and eastern South Carolina, eastern North Carolina. That's pretty close what happened. And then the ECMWF, same thing, uh, a little bit finer detailed and showing where the ice and the sleet and the snow would be. And it looks like the ECM did a better job there. Let's look at the next day forecast uh, on that. And that's right here. And still, uh, now we're at a six-day forecast. And GFS said, still nothing to worry about. Okay, uh, CMC was shrinking its uh, uh, swath of snow a little bit, but still showing widespread snow and ice across the southeast United States uh, and for Wednesday morning or Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Again, remember now, this was six days away from the forecast. The icon, uh, again, showing uh, the rain pushing uh, northward, more uh, warmer air in the southeast with the snow in the central and northern Georgia and South Carolina. But it was forecasting rain for our area then. The ECMWF, the European model, uh, the European Center for Meteor Rain's weather forecast was indicating we're still going to get the snow and the ice, and that's exactly what we got. So it looks like um, the uh, the ECMWF did the best job in forecasting. The worst forecast out in uh, seven and six days in advance was the GFS. The GFS finally started coming in, uh, but it was bouncing around uh, its forecast. So uh, hats off to the uh, CMC. Uh, not that, well, the hats, it did a decent job, but not as good. But the ECMWF, it nailed it. It really nailed it. All right, going back to the maps, what to expect now? Well, the temperature, that's the key here. Uh, how long is it going to take for this snow to melt? It's going to take a good two or three days uh, for it to really melt and get out of the pictures. Uh, one of the problems tonight will be the snow that's melting right now with the sunshine will refreeze and it's called uh, what's called black ice on the road. You can't really see it, but it's there. And particularly across bridges and overpasses, uh, you get the, uh, the formation of black ice. So be wary of that if you're driving uh, at nighttime over the next couple of nights. But the forecast lows tonight across the country, basically uh, very cold, uh, below zero across the upper Mississippi River Valley and Western Great Lakes states and up into the Northeast. But let's take a closer look 
uh, to our area uh, closer to home. And there we have the forecast tonight. Uh, temperatures um, by daybreak tomorrow morning will be in the middle 20s near the coastal areas, but then in the teens elsewhere. Uh, if, uh, actually, uh, it'll be around 20 degrees in the Savannah area. I'm forecasting about 16 degrees. The record low, I think, is 19 degrees set back in 1960. So, yeah, it's going to be a cold one for tonight. And then um, let's take a look at the uh, temperatures for uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. And uh, again, very cold in the upper teens to lower 20s across our area, most of the, right around 20, 21 degrees. Uh, and then going into uh, 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 Friday night, Saturday morning, uh, again, in the teens across the area. So it's a very cold weather will continue for the, at least the next three nights. How about the fourth night going into uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, it's still very cold. A touch warmer, but still very, very, well, let's say a touch less cold. <laughs> and then going into uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, now nah, we're getting better, warming above the freezing mark, so it'll stay above freezing, hopefully. And then going into uh, day number six, we're going to see, again, the trend for the warmer air to move on in. As a matter of fact, uh, by Sunday afternoon, we'll be warming into the uh, uh, mid 50s with uh, partly cloudy skies, maybe sunshine, and then Monday uh, into well the upper 50s, flirting with 60 degrees in the southern counties. All right, uh, looking at the map or the uh, forecast from my page, savannapat.name, uh, you get a lot of great weather information here. I keep you posted 24 hours a day, 24 uh, 7, and 365 days of the year. I keep this uh, website active and updating. Uh, the snow is melting in the rain gauge right now. I'm up to 1,900 inches. It's still uh, melting uh, in the gauge itself, so it's it's slowly trickling in. But anyway, there's all the weather videos I've been posting for the last several days. And uh, the forecast is calling for, yeah, becoming mostly sunny. It's that low in the upper teens for tonight. And there you can see it right there. 17 I'm forecasting for Savannah. Um, record low is 19 degrees, so we might be flirting with the record low. And uh, um, nothing really serious coming in, uh, just the cold, cold, cold for the next several nights, but then slowly beginning to warm up by uh, the beginning of next week, uh, getting back into close to normal. Normal high for this time of the year in Savannah is 62 degrees, normal low is 40. And uh, looking ahead for my uh, forecast for the next several weeks, uh, expect to see that warming trend to continue going into the uh, month of February. And then uh, all of February looks like it'll be average above the normal for our, our area. So that's that's some good news there. A lot of people have been asking me, or some people have been asking me about this amaryllis I have growing right here. And uh, that's an amaryllis called Magical Touch. It's one of the newer varieties. And I planted it last uh, about middle of December, and it's blooming now. So here inside the house, not outside in the weather garden. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate all the people who have been supporting my page and uh, keep that up. Thank you very much. I uh, really like that. The super thanks. They're very nice. And uh, joining my channel, that's very nice as well. All right. I'm going to be looking at the skies over the next several nights, and hopefully I'll be sharing some of those views with you right now. The planets are lined up in the sky. You can see uh, Saturn, uh, Venus. You can see uh, Jupiter and Mars. And if you have a telescope, you can see Uranus and Neptune all up in the sky near you. All right. With that being said, stay warm. Warm. It's going to be a cold one, and be careful driving, particularly at night. Watch out for that stuff called black ice, because you can slip and slide out of control. That's not a good thing. All right, see you later. Bye.